Yo guys, what is going on? It's your boy Farfetch here, back with a brand new YouTube video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys a few ways you can actually fix Fortnite FPS drops, or your game actually just stuttering, or just generally just improve FPS and increase your FPS within Fortnite. I know a lot of people used to have things such as their game crashing or the FPS dropping quite a lot within Chapter 2, but I'm not really sure if people are still getting that. Yeah, I'm just making this video just in case if anyone does like is still getting any crashes or they, they are getting any FPS drops, anything like that. If you guys do go ahead to enjoy the video, you know what to do drop a like on the video you can do it right now as I speak it takes two seconds and helps out more than you guys think watch the video out to further people subscribe post notifications on you can be a part of the noti gang and never miss an upload on my channel if you are a part of the noti gang you can comment down below noti gang for a chance to get a shout out in my next video but yeah without further ado let's just get straight into the video so yeah quite simply as I said I'm going to be showing you guys how to fix FPS drops or just overall increase FPS within your game. So I'm going to be on my desktop for this I'll probably have a little bit of gameplay playing right now. I will end up like switching over to my desktop and I'll be just showing you guys probably around three to four tips that would actually really help. These are things that you guys are probably using and either need to disable or need to enable therefore you can basically just sort your FPS out and stop like the chance of these FPS drops occurring because I know having a lot of stutters in your game or FPS drops can really affect your gameplay. You are at just a disadvantage overall and if you are in a mid fight and you get an FPS drop or a stutter it can really ruin things for you and basically lose you the fight so you guys don't want that I've made a ton of videos about FPS increase FPS boost tutorials and other ways to stop F like your your frames dropping and stuff like that I've also made like three or four videos about um, how to fix certain crashes within the game so if your game is crashing and you have error codes I have made all these videos like myself they're all unique methods and they literally all showcase different methods which no one else on YouTube has really done so if this video doesn't help you guys can go on my channel scroll down and find the other videos because I have analyzed these methods myself and used them to optimize my PC and stuff because if you guys don't know I don't have the best graphics card so I do have to optimize the game myself and yeah it seems to work so we're just gonna hop straight into it and head over to my desktop right now and I'll get on with no tip number one and we'll just go through and show you guys how you can fix FPS stuff. yeah let's just get straight into it okay guys so as you guys can see I am over on my desktop right now the first tip is something within your GeForce and Nvidia settings so if you do like right click your desktop and you'll see an Nvidia control panel right here or you guys can um, probably find it down here like in the display tray or if not you guys can just search nvidia and um, it should come up somewhere here like right right there but i'm just gonna right click my, my desktop and just click it here this will bring up my nvidia control panel or my nvidia settings and this is where i have to change something which could be causing fps drops so for the sake of this video i did actually like enable this and i'll show you guys how to disable it right here it's fairly simple takes less than like less than 60 seconds also one thing before we get into like the, the main thing within here what you guys can do if you haven't already like while you're here i might as well tell you guys this you guys do want to have on your just image settings with preview you do want to basically change this to use my preference emphasizing click this and drag the bar all the way down to pre to performance and then just press apply what this does it just basically just optimizes you, everything you do within your pc for the best performance rather than the best quality your still, quality is still going to look perfect in 1080p or hd whatever you guys want to call it but you will be getting better performance out your game because basically just, it, ain't, it just won't override your graphics card because if you have on quality it overrides your graphics card and tries to get basically just the the best quality which you don't really need because the quality looks fine anyway but with performance it basically just don't tone down your graphics card a bit and basically just makes it per, like preferred for performance and just optimizes in that in that sense yeah just just thought for that out there for this you guys want to go to manage 3d settings and then yeah while you're here you want to go to global settings you guys just want to scroll down a little bit till you see low latency mode which is right here you want to click low latency mode and you want to click this and you just want to turn it off so as much as you guys may have saw in one of my other videos actually and also within like many fps tutorials or even just by common sense you guys would think you'd want this on because it's low latency mode and what you want in your game is is the the lowest latency possible the least input lag and the better response time to your game this actually isn't really optimized like this setting isn't really optimized within any update drivers for like your graphics card recently so nvidia hasn't really made this worth putting on anyway so even when you have an ultra there's literally no difference to your game and you're still getting the same input lag and yeah so having this off ain't gonna make a difference to that and also having this on or on ultra what this does is then actually causes fps drops so it's basically an unnecessary for your pc and it'll basically make your game run a little bit like not as smooth so that isn't good of course so yeah you can be experiencing some fps drops or game stutters with this 
set to ultra or on so i do advise you guys to turn this off and then just press apply i'm sure for a lot of you guys that may be off anyway if you have ever came in here and changed this or altered this it'll probably be set to on or ultra so just make sure that is turned off that's the first thing you guys want to have off so yeah just make sure that's off for me it's the best thing you guys can turn off to fix fps drops this next thing i'm going to talk about is called msi afterburner if you guys don't know what this is it's actually basically just a thing you guys use to overclock your graphics card i have made a whole video on how to overclock your graphics card so if you guys do want to do that you can i will be telling you guys in this video why you wouldn't want to do that and how it can cause fps drops so i haven't got any footage for this um so i will just be playing gameplay again within the background because i have literally deleted afterburner after using it for like nearly a year now on my graphics card my graphics card weren't too good so i tried to optimize it by overclocking and i use this application which is extremely simple it's perfectly safe and you can overclock your graphics card and just push it a little bit more than it usually does you basically just put more megahertz into it and push its performance a little bit which basically just gives it optimizes it a little bit and just makes it sort of override and just perform a little bit higher than it usually does as much as this is good and it did give like a little bit more like performance to my game overall stability to my game wasn't as smooth and i was experiencing a lot of fps drops so if you guys don't want fps drops you do not want to turn on afterburner because it's consistently running in the background after you overclock basically it just causes a lot of issues to your pc and can cause huge fps drops and the pc just sort of like has a little hitch what that would do is sort of hitch the overclock and the overclock will sort of stop for a few seconds and what that does is basically just causes your whole game to have a huge fps drop basically the graphics card just underperforms to what it's then used to after the overclock yeah you guys do want to have afterburner off no matter how much this helps your game if you want the game to be smoother and not to get fps drops at all for you you turn it off make sure it's never running in the background or starting up with your pc again but it's simply uninstall afterburner therefore it's no longer overclocking or messing with your graphics card again afterburner's not really worth it if you have a good graphics card anyway a little performance isn't going to help and basically you want to prioritize stability over like little extra performance so yeah guys just make sure your game is stable and just make sure you guys turn it off because it can cause huge fps drops and i know that by personal use i no longer get i no longer get as massive fps drops as i used to with this because it was basically pushing my graphics card more than it needs to and i'm surely every time it hitched it basically just bottlenecked it and then basically just caused the, the game to actually hitch and have a huge stutter which weren't good so yeah I'll, I'll tell you guys to turn this off you guys can experiment with it if it does help obviously keep it off if it doesn't help keep just turn it back on you get that more performance this is something you guys need to try it yourself and sort of experiment with but for me my own personal use this helps so much turn it off and i was so blind to it because i was getting the extra performance but now it's just so much more worth it because the game's just more stable and i'm not getting these fps drops so for a competitive standpoint i have an advantage now and i'm, I'm not getting I'm not getting put down hey okay, guys i would just in, uninstall that on the whole if you do use it it's not that good to use also a point i forgot to like state within the other thing about the afterburner application i have said on various of other my i said had said on my other video i made but i had to like how i had to fix your game crashing this is also a main reason why your game may be crashing so again if you your game is also experienced crashing and not just fps drops afterburner would be a huge reason to that sort of all ties into the same things i said at, like just said recently but yeah um afterburner isn't good so i would just delete it either way it's a great thing to get off your pc and these like the last two tips of just the afterburner thing and the thing in the nvidia settings they're huge things you guys need to really listen to and just need to turn off or disable because they are really gonna make your game just just a lot worse at this point maybe in the future they are more optimized for the game and do just better performance for now they just don't so i'll just i would if i you guys i'll just turn them off also guys for tip number three it's actually about multi-thread rendering if you are getting fps drops you may need to want to turn multi-thread rendering on if you guys don't have it on already about two videos ago i made a video about how to boost your fps within fortnite and basically in chapter two multi-thread rendering gives you about 50 more fps of performance when having it on MTR or multi-thread rendering has actually been optimized for chapter 2. Fortnite didn't really say anything about it. But basically since chapter 2 was released, it was more optimized. So if you do have multi-thread rendering on right now, you are going to get more FPS. If you do have this option on your, like, basically your game settings within Fortnite, you guys do want to have this on. It'll give you 50 more FPS and basically give you, like, game a more stable feel. You're getting obviously more performance and it will actually help your game not to crash. Or will actually give you less stirs to your game if you're obviously getting that more performance. So if you guys do want to learn more about that, I will leave the link down below. But if you guys do want to go on anyway just go two videos like two videos ago on my channel i made a video and i discussed this even further there's a whole reddit post about it and i discussed it in that video so i will leave a link down below you guys do want to check this after this video and it will tell you more about multi-thread rendering and why you want it on but to fix fps drops you do want to turn that on with all that being said that's about it for this video i have basically went through all the free tips i wanted to the first two are the most important i said a sec i said the last one isn't as important but you guys do really need to take it into consideration i will leave all the relevant links down below in the description so you guys can just be guided on where to 
to go after this video if you want more more help on this or if you do want to watch the multi-thread rendering video i made which was i think it was titled how to boost fps in fortnite chapter 2 again i uploaded it two days ago so you guys can find it very like recently on my channel and it will tell you more about multi-thread rendering and why you would want it on and also how it can basically just um improve fps and just stop fps stutters which is the whole point in this video if you guys did enjoy this video you guys know what to do drop a like subscribe turn on post notifications so you guys never miss an upload like this on my channel again you can drop a like right now if you guys did watch to the end it's the least you can do have some more than you guys think but yeah that's about it for this video it's been your boy farfetch and yeah peace